just say thank you for you all being present here today for such a grand occasion for this community. Now, I'm Pastor Walker and I'm here to do the prayer. If we all can bow our heads and look to the Lord in prayer, we will do that at this time. Most graciously, Heavenly Father, we thank you for an opportunity to call on your name again. We thank you for our uprising this morning and all last night you watched over us. Now, oh Lord, we thank you for this time to recognize this community and for the hard work that so many people have labored through. We thank you, O oh God, for the ones that are founders and leaders in this community, the mothers and the fathers that carried out an, a, a, a meaning to their children, a dedication to this community. We thank you for their courage and their dedication. Thank you, Father, for every child that's represented in this community. Father, we thank you right now for the doctors and the lawyers and the officials that are going to come out, raise up out of this community. We thank you for the mothers and the fathers that are be being prepared right now for a future in this community. Thank you for the officials being here and present today. We thank you, Father, that you're blessing this city, you're blessing this nation, and you're blessing the world. Thank you, Father. It's a pleasure and an honor for us to be up under your clouds today saying thank you. Thank you for the ones that allowed this to take place today. Thank you for the board that made a decision for this to take place. We thank you for everything, God, because we know that the earth is the fullest and everything owned by you, O oh God. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for an opportunity to call on your name. So many places are not calling on your name, but we thank you we can do that today. Thank you for everyone that's represented here today. For every street that's represented, we thank you for the blessings that will begin to flow all through this community. Lives will be changed. Personalities will be changed. We thank you for what you're doing, what you've done, and what you're going to do. We give you all this in your precious name, Jesus. We ask it in your name. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's children said together, amen, amen, amen. Now if we can have a moment of silence, and I think it's for the neighborhood presidents and founders, Mrs. Shirley Peoples and Mr. Robert E. Leakes, uh, Leak Sr. If we can just bow our heads again for just a few moments of silence. Amen. Thank you again. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us in the liquid sunshine uh, afternoon here. But it is a great day uh, to be out here, and I'm so glad we did pause to uh, to remember Robert Leake uh, Sr. We worked with him a, a whole lot, and uh, of course, uh, uh, Ms. Peoples as well, but um, I remember particularly Mr. Leake Sr. and Mr. Ms. Leake Jr. is here, so we're gonna hear from him. But it, it's such a great thing that we do across this community to uh, place historic markers to uh, recognize and to remember all the great historical things that happened in a particular neighborhood. And we've done it across the city and uh, certainly long overdue here in the East On community because of the strong viability of this, this neighborhood and the impact it's had on our city. I also want to just uh, pause just for a moment. We're going to hear from uh, Mayor Pro Tem Burke and from our great city council person from this ward, uh, James Taylor. But I uh, want to recognize our representative, Ms. Terry, who has joined us here with her uh, city of Winston-Salem jacket on there. We're glad, <laughs> glad she still got that, so we're glad to have you here. And to the Historic Resources Commission, we thank you for the hard work that you do, because these things are just not put up uh, willy-nilly. There's a lot of planning and a lot of research that goes into placing these markers across the city, and they're very strategically placed. But to the members of the East On neighborhood, I know you're, you're proud today. You're always proud to be in this neighborhood, of course, but just to see this, this recognition in sort of an official way as we can 
your children and our children and grandchildren can see this, uh, this plaque and read about the history of this community and the importance it played in the coming up of our city. So again, thank you for being here today. It's my honor now to present to you our Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Vivian H. Burke, and also the Council Member from the Northeast Ward, Council Member Burke. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council Member, and to our State Rep, and all of the people gathered here on this beautiful day. You're going to remember me because this is what I'm going to say. Everything that Pastor Walker said, I agree. Everything that the mayor said, I agree. I want to thank the staff. Our assistant city manager is here. I want to thank him, Mr. Greg Turner. My mother used to say, my little girl Vivian is sugar. She always thinks the rain going to melt her. <laughs> It was, I didn't ever want to get my hair messed up. That was the thing. So you don't have to worry about me. The people who've been um, recognized, I want to say thank you to this neighborhood. And I want us, when we get home, to read the Eastern neighborhood history. I'm familiar with Bellevue, Eastern, but I'm going to look up Manhattan a little bit more to see what it's all about. And one thing I like to say is this. When you read this, you will see that when this neighborhood concerned with the citizens got together, they were engaged in looking at the diversity that they have here. But what I liked about it, the intergenerational membership to foster a pleasant and safe community. May God continue to bless you to have a pleasant and safe community community. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I always like to take the time to pause and bring greetings on behalf of the City Council. I also greet you on behalf of the residents of the sensational Southeast Ward and the work that the Eastern community is doing uh, led by President Robert Leake III and all of the neighborhood association who's joined uh, with him here today is why we're so sensational. As a native son, as I always like to say, of this community, born and reared in the Bellevue community just a few streets over, I'm reminded of the rich history and legacy that this community represents. I always say that strong families make strong communities, and strong communities are the backbone of the city of Winston-Salem. Well, I look over this audience and I see that backbone of strong neighborhoods and strong communities. There are some families, a lot of families, who are represented here today, but I see uh, that there are some who are not represented here today. Now, there's no way we're going to be able to call love, all of them, but I sit and I think about the Grays and the McCrays and the McCalls and all those families. I heard the Reverend in her prayer, she talked a little bit about this community producing doctors and lawyers and those people who make a significant contribution to this community. Well, I stand as one, as though, uh, one of those people. Some of my friends and neighbors were some of those people, and because of you, I stand here today. Because of you, Mr. Leek III stands here today. It takes a village to raise uh, a young man or a young woman, a, a good village, a good community. And I can say that East Arm was built on that, and I'm extremely happy to be a part of this process. So to the Neighborhood Association, to the Historic Resources Commission, to all of the friends, families, and neighbors who helped to create this strong neighborhood, I thank you, I salute you, and I really appreciate what you do for helping our city to be a better place to live, work, and relax. Thank you. All right, so next on the agenda, uh, Mayor, uh, do, do I want to go ahead and proceed? Uh, remarks by other elected officials. Uh, Ms. Terry, do, do you want to? Next on the agenda, we have remarks from Linda Dark, who is our Historic Resources Commissioner uh, from the Forsyth County Historic Resources Commission. Uh, please give Ms. Dark a wonderful round of applause. Good afternoon, everybody. I think that the skies are going to hold off for just long enough for us to get this done and it is a celebration and even if, with the rain it's a celebration. Um, as the council member said, my name is Linda Dark, I'm a member of the uh, Historical Resources Commission and on behalf of the commission, uh, we are very, very pleased to have this marker put up in this uh, wonderful neighborhood. Um, 
the historic markers, as the mayor said, we've been doing this over 10 years ago. And to date, we have placed about 40 markers around the city. These markers help mark a spot in history that should not be forgotten. And um, listening to what everyone said and hearing those names of the persons who worked before us, before we came, it's very important that you do have a marker to remember such persons. And I would like to say, I'm very glad to see the young lady right there with the glasses. I'm very happy to see you because when we're all gone, you're going to have to take up where we leave off. So you're going to have to be the historical person in the future. Can you do that for us? Thank you. Good. OK. Now I'd like to introduce to you the president of the East Don Neighborhood Association, Mr. Leak. And I met him earlier at another meeting, another community meeting. And now I see why he is so instrumental because of your grandfather. So he's carrying on, which is very, very important. So Mr. Leak, would you come forward? Good afternoon. Well, good evening, I guess. But I'm thrilled to that we're having a historical marker revealed today. Thank you, Mayor Allen Jones and Mayor Pro Tem and Council Member Taylor and all you guys who came out this afternoon and I'm not gonna I'm gonna be brief with you. I'm not gonna do a sermon. So <laughs> um but uh, I am honored that we have been awarded a historical marker. We didn't win the first time, but I remember when Miss Michelle McCullough stated to me, she said, just try again next year, you may get it next year. And I told her, I said, well, if God opens that door for us, I said, I believe that we'll receive the marker. And lo and behold, we did receive the marker. Um, a few years ago, Mayor Allen Jones and I, we had sat down and talked when I was 19 years old and I told him I said I just believe in my heart that East Town community is going to be one of the communities in our city that's going to be one of the best turnaround communities in the city of Worcester Salem and I still believe that Marilyn Jones and with the help of Councilmember Taylor and what he has done been instrumental with our association board members and well our association is general so we're thankful so we, uh, that the market has been installed and we're grateful that we'll be able to, our constituents in the area will be able to see the history of East Don. And I had to date myself anyways because my grandfather, Robert Lee Sr., he had told me some history about before he went on to heaven and about Manhattan. And Manhattan was on this strip uh, from the back of us going towards business uh, 40. So all that is just history uh, 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 here in the East Don community. And i never forget one time that I... Uh, when I was getting going, grooming into the work of the neighborhood and or community organizing, and uh, there was a meeting at our my grandfather's house. Everybody was uh, uh, had the papers in their hands, and uh, what happened was one person had made a big outburst, and my grandfather said, "Give me the papers." He took all the papers up from everybody, and I said, "What?" And he what he taught me was he said, "You never allow anyone to take over your meetings." Amen. So. Um, he, he tore the papers up in front of me and everybody looked at me like, well, Mr. Lee, we praying for you now. Just hang on in there with your grandfather. <laughs> but granddad, he was, he was one of a kind and I think I'm so thankful for his skills and what he taught me from a man from a sixth grade education, but he had a hands of a carpenter and the skills of an organizer. And I'm always thrilled for, um, Lord behold now my boss, Miss Paula McCoy, that Neighbors for Better Neighborhoods taught me organizing skills and uh, getting out to the communities and grassroots level work. And that's what this all is about, it's all of us getting out in the community and allowing other people to be engaged. So I'm thrilled that I'm joined with you guys and thank you all to my board members. And I think they're on the list next. Uh, Paula. Uh, Paula's on the list next. Okay, so thank you guys for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure to represent Neighbors for a Better Neighborhood or NBN. I don't need that. That's okay. um, Neighbors for a Better Neighborhood has been a partner with East On for many years, and uh, we are proud of the work that you do here your civic engagement and your commitment to community. I know, I knew Robert's uh, grandfather. I worked with him when I was um, working with Lisk, and he is indeed a uh, chip off the old block. We're very proud that he is uh, on the staff of Neighbors for a Better Neighborhood. And uh, we're very proud 
of the work that you do and that all the neighborhoods do uh, to revitalize your, your neighborhoods. I want to invite you all to join us um, at our community neighborhood network. And we have it every other month at um, United Metropolitan Church. Uh, the next one will be on October the 22nd at 5.30. We have a very good time. We come together, we have a little dinner at 5.30, and then we just um, talk about and have a conversation about the things that are happening in our neighborhoods. So join us for that. And um, our mission is to connect people, strengthen voices, and leverage resources with community to create safe, just, and self-determined neighborhoods. Thank you for joining us in that mission. So we do have a time on the agenda, as Mr. Leake mentioned, for the East Juan uh, Neighborhood Association members. Any uh, members, uh, let's have the, all the members raise your hand of the association that are here. Are here. Would anyone like to uh, say a word? Please feel free to come up. <laughs> Everybody's shy this morning. Come on, Mr. Davis. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name's Julius Davis, and I would like to thank the city for their participation in awarding us this historical marker. Giving honor to God for allowing this to take place. Uh, I just want to say that I'm glad to be here and I moved in this neighborhood in 1978 and one of the original, uh, I call it bring backs of the neighborhood association and I'm proud of this neighborhood and the work that it has brought forward in uh, helping with other things in the community that we are actually tied to. And uh, I'm just glad to have everybody here today and the participation from the neighborhood uh, members. And I know that the weather prevented some from not being here, but we just praise God for allowing this to take place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Is there anyone else that is here who would like to share a memory of uh, East On? Uh, please feel free to share with us. Yes, ma'am, please come on up. I'd like to say good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Carol Miller, and I live at 3205 Heitman Drive. And I'd like to say that I have been here for 33 years. And uh, I have sent my kids to college here. And I like to say that I have seen some improvement uh, on Heitman Drive, our neighbors, the way that we care for our community and our children, and our, um, the way that our neighborhood has grown. And we have been uh, good neighbors trying to instill and enlighten everyone to take pride in their properties because we're taxpayers and we are going forward. And for our children will have an inheritance that we will leave for our children that they will have something to enjoy in life and pass on down to the grandchildren. So I just like to say that I was glad to receive the invitation and I was a little late, but uh, I'm an Easton uh, representative. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Protein. For some that know me and for some that don't know me, I'm Marcia Hamilton Jones. I, Oops. For those that do know me and for those that don't know me, my name is Marcia Hamilton Jones. I am an heir to Eastern neighborhood. My father lived here for more than 20 years and I've been living here for more than 20. I see, and I'm also, well, I'm just rejoining back home. I've been missing for a little while. I'm a member of the, I was a member of um, NBA. I've been very active. I was on the mayor um, for um, persons with disability. I was the secretary for that. So I was very active in my community. I love Winston-Salem. I love Wake Forest, but nevertheless, I am glad to see the improvement that has been here since I've been, a been excuse me, since I've been a neighbor since I've been a citizen of Winston-Salem. 
um, and I'm glad to receive that our neighborhood is receiving this honor. If we couldn't have came from a better um, place and to better neighbors. And I just want to thank you, and I'll be participating a little bit more. Thanks. Thank you very much for those memories. Uh, anybody else like to share? Great. Well, we want to add, oh, I'm sorry. Please, come on. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I would like to say I'm Rosa Rice. I have lived in the East Island community for over 42 years. Since I've been here, I've met wonderful <laughs> neighbors. We love each other. We have a, a committee, a group that's called the East Island Sick and Flower Club, where we help people for Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or year round, or any need that needs to be met. So I have enjoyed raising my children here in East Island. They are married and graduated and gone to college. They have jobs of their own now. But it was a, night, a, a real good neighborhood to raise your children. I've been here ever, ever since 1972, and I thank you for letting me speak. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. I'm sure it's a wonderful neighborhood to grow up in. It's evidenced by Councilmember Taylor there, just across the way there. <laughs> All right, let me ask the, uh, the speakers uh, to come up and we will uh, now unveil the, uh, the marker. 